Okay, guys. So recording has been started. So in the whole, uh, in, so let me repeat once again, like whatever I have said previously before the recording. So in this, uh, in this journey, journey we will start from uh, from today, right? So today we will uh, discuss about the UX process. So UX process is very important because none of the product can uh, develop without a proper process, right? So process is like you have to start the product, right? Like in a, in a, from ideation to delivery in a real time, like in a product could be in a physical form or in a digital form. So in our UI UX training course, we will only talk about the digital products, right? So digital products actually very challenging because in digital product, user have a lot of options to switch on, right? So they, once, let's suppose they will come on your product, let's suppose e-commerce product, right? So in right now, there are plenty of applications regarding the e-commerce, right? So let's suppose they, they got like, okay, Flipkart is not easy to use. They can simply jump into the Amazon. They can simply jump into the mantra, right? So to avoid that particular thing, we have to, we have to first follow the proper process, right? So today I will talk like, okay, 10 to 15 steps, right? Like how the, how a product could develop, right? So the journey from, journey start from A to Z, as you already know, right? So first step is very important. That is called user research. <laughs> because if if you don't know that who is your user you cannot develop a proper product right so one example let me give you let's suppose uh, e-commerce there are plenty of e-commerce right but i i have a brilliant idea right and i suggest my idea uh, to a stakeholder why don't we create a uh, e-commerce platform for zero to three years old kids not more than that, right? So zero to three years kid, we have to develop a proper product. So who is your user? Can 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 anyone tell me? Who is our users? Yes. Zero to three. No, kid cannot show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so who is your user? Mani, can you tell me? Yeah, kids. Uh, Sorry. Kids. Uh, kids. Yeah. Kids cannot shop. Uh, two, three year kids never shop. You know they don't know how to shop. So the main user is parent. Parent. Oh. So normal age of we have to find out normal age of the parent. I'm just giving you a vague example, right? Maybe you will find a similar product in two, three years. I don't know. But parent uh, parenting starts from uh, 25 to 35 in India, right? Location demographic is very important, right? like product which we are developing from which country or let's suppose we define the country for so which region. So let's suppose uh, if we are uh, developing the product for the North India, then English is okay. Right? But if we would like to go into the South, then might be the multi-language could be a barrier right? or we have to develop multi-language uh, application. Right? So this is these are the decisions we have to take after the user research. So user research is very, very important. Got it? So let me uh, open one presentation. So from there, I, I can tell you the whole process. For this particular process, I have only one presentation. And I don't have any more presentation because I will follow a book, right? And from there, I will teach you guys. So let me open it. So this is the first step, as you everybody know that UX is everywhere. That's why the UX process is more important, right? So, Mani, let me uh, mute you. Okay, so over here, uh, let's talk about first the UX. So, UX is in this teaching as well, right? 
if you cannot understand me you will leave this class within next two days not simple experience yeah not a good experience if let's suppose you ask a question and i i give you i give I, I, first of all i irritate you or i irritated it's not a good experience right if let's suppose if i don't know any I don't know the answer of your question right even then i give you the wrong answer that is the one of the worst experience actually <laughs> like i misguided you right so these have you as i said ux is everywhere right so when you talk to someone ux is there right so if you are drinking a uh, tea from this cup ux is here as well right so difference between a ui and ux ui is always in a physical form or in a digital form but how easy for the user that is important right so that's why i say ux is everywhere that's why the ux process is more important right so without a solid ux design process you have a lower chance of creating a product with good ux a well defined and well executed ux process on the other hand makes it possible to craft amazing experiences for users right very important statement and then type of ux process so this is one of my favorite right i i will explain you why it's my favorite lean process lean ux process right and there are another one uh, process is that is called agile ux process two types in in if you say like okay uh, how many type of the ux process so these are the two types lean and agile lean like this uh, you have to understand like this so once you let's suppose uh, you gave your design after your user uh, user research then wireframe right and now it's it's for uh, you given uh, like color uis to the developers right so it's in the development phase so let's suppose there is a change in the color of the button so it doesn't mean that you have to do ui static again then html and then into the code lean process is you have to just go back if it whatever it's necessary you just go back one step back right and make the changes and give it to the developers so in the whole journey let's suppose if i said what is let's suppose it's in the development so html is the just last before step yes so you have to just do the changes in the html of that uh, button color or sizing or the typography any change color and give it to the developers enough but in opposite to that agile saying you have to go back two step with that particular example you have to first do the changes in the ui design right and then in html and then that html should go to the developers that is a very sim uh, uh, this is uh, the explanation with the with an example right but there is a philosophy as well there is a big written as well but if you would like to understand that what is the difference between lean and agile so this is the the most uh, simple uh, answer right so, but html is a part of development it is it is but uh, html call like it's a front end development right but html is static html it's similar like the static ui okay. right but more fidelity like in in a in a let's suppose in a, uh, ui design you can click on the ui and then another screen will appear right but in html let's suppose if you click over there you can add more animation okay right you can let's suppose there is a drop down you can see the drop down options and it will behave like a real prototype very very super high fidelity prototype right but database connection is missing Okay. No database connection, no server side script, simple HTML, plain HTML, right? That is the difference between UI and HTML. But when we present our design, mm -hmm. the prototype design to our clients or stakeholders, mm -hmm. do we present them in a Figma or do we actually prototyping or we do some kind of development also like HTML, CSS to show them to the clients for a better experience? Uh, for better experience, I must tell you the HTML one. Okay. Right, <laughs> but if let's suppose your stakeholder is 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 a kind of like a tech guy right so he can understand the idea from the figma prototype okay. as well 
depend on person to person right so let's suppose if you are uh, you made a, a tech application or a fintech application and the guy is not a tech compatible so you have to create proper html not even for the desktop but also for the mobile as well nowadays that is very important so you got the uh, like difference in between lean and agile yes sir okay great so next step is uh, user experience design so this is like a simple process user start then research as i already uh, explain you so in research we meet the user we ask the user right we give them a survey form right and accordingly in that particular survey form what we ask we are we ask the value proposition of that particular application right so what is value proposition like okay let we will ask okay do you need this application or not very simple answer right if they say yes okay we will build it simple right if we will say that okay another question what we ask okay uh, what type of uh, problem you are get, uh, finding in amazon they will they will tell you you just uh, start writing it in the points in bullet points so those are the user research kind of points we take from the user survey so user survey have two type i will explain you in another slide as well right so then we uh, empathize once the user search has been done then we empathize it okay this is what we going to build so in the uh, emphasize we are uh, we create the user persona scenarios user testing user experience map i will explain you this in detail in this whole journey of the course right then we create so there is a there is a, some process say okay they don't define the create actually so in this particular uh, training we will talk about the how to create the prototype right so as i already explained you yesterday that you have to install the exurate yes sir right so vani i will also tell you that okay we will i will also give you the link of the exurate from there you can download it okay okay yeah. so exurate is a totally dedicated tool for the wireframing and prototype right so in i will also give you some example and i am using exure from since 2010 right and that to use exure and after the 12 years it did a lot of gap right so the software has evolved from the time right and nowadays you can uh, not even design the wireframe in the exure but also you can design the color ui right? similar like thing but in exure you can transfer the data without any database that is the beauty of the exure right which no, i have never seen any kind of fidelity in any other tool so in this course we will we will focus on in this course we will focus on the exure tool because if you can design a proper prototype the journey of not even you are solving the user but also you are solving the or, or easing the journey of the developer as well stakeholder as well product owner as well product manager as well right so it is a very beautiful tool i will uh, i will teach you in, uh, in this course right so in create first we create the wireframe using a tool then mood boards mock ups and style guide and then third fourth step is test so for the test in this course i will not uh, like I, mean, i will only take two three classes about the usability testing but that is like uh, i will explain the how what is usability testing right and the bullet point how to perform but i cannot go in deeper into it but that is also very important right but in that class you will understand the importance of the usability that is very important right so then fifth step is develop so once you create the prototype html ui so the fifth step is develop why four step have the usability test because in wireframe we personally conducted the usability testing in the wireframe mode only and we get very good insight about the user experience and we did the changes as per the usability testing and then we go live so very important next is research so in the research part uh, as i already told you that in research uh, see this this is a team like design team business manager product manager and these are two type of uh, researches we will talk about in this course one is the interview and observation qualitative so qualitative and quantitative two types of the user research 
So what is the difference? Very simple difference. Qualitative means we are doing the user research in a group of people, right? 15 to 20, right? But quantitative is you are doing the research on 1000 lakhs through a simple Google form. We are just sending them a five question, not more than a five question, because otherwise they will not fill up. So, and maybe you have to give the goodies to those users, you know. <laughs> okay, please fill up my phone and I will give you this, 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 you know. So, all the companies doing like this. In your Amazon, even they are doing it. How you are experiencing So, that is a actually quantitative, or quantity, you can say. Okay. Then, we will define the empty map. This is very important, right. So to be a great designer, we need to look a little deeper into the how people think and act. So we divide the empathy mapping in four vertex. What they say, what they think, what they do, and what they feel. The whole product UX will go around these four vertex. And accordingly, we will create the user persona. Okay? And Vani, if you have any question in the presentation, just let me know, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So the eighth slide is, that is called US Competitive Analysis. So normally uh, in that book, maybe there is one like paragraph, right? But in this course, we will talk about a lot about this US Competitive Analysis. Why? Because in India, if you are not developing a product for the India, right? So how you will do your business? Let's suppose the product from US, Canada or Europe. Client don't have any budget to invite you in the US. How you will perform the user research? So, there is three points I uh, noted over there. Like, understand market competition. At least you can download the application mm -hmm. in your phone, right? Mm -hmm. And you can uh, analyze the competition, right? Then, and on top of that, you can read the uh, user reviews on Google Play Store or Apple Play Store. Or Amazon, mm -hmm. yeah. So you can at least find the negative points out of that. That why that those people are giving the one star, two star, right? So that you 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 can have some insight that okay why people are not happy in that particular area. So we will always a product is always let's suppose you are developing a a copycat product, right? So in a copycat product, just like I will give you one of the best example that is called Bharat Pay, right? That is a copycat product for KTM, right? But nowadays few success. Why? Because they solve what they, the Paytm cannot provide or what where the user is right, like have pro having problem in the Paytm. So they are solving in bar, bar. Smart approach? Yes. Yeah. And learn about your domain. So let's suppose if you are, uh, this is very uh, like powerful station. So let's suppose if, why learn about your domain? It means you have to understand that product in detail. Let's suppose one example. E-commerce is very vague example. Let me give you one example. Like let's suppose uh, you are developing a doctor's stethoscope. You know everybody know doctor's stethoscope. Yes. So that is a product, right? And now the challenge is you have to create a website for that particular product. What is the difference in another product? You have to find out the difference. Okay. You have to understand like, okay, how to use the stethoscope. It can happen in any way. Let's suppose this is the bottle, right? And this is a Milton bottle, but some other company designed the, uh, the same type of bottle, right? You have to build a landing page for this, right? And on that landing page, there is a shop button. Right? How you will uh, calculate the USP point for this bottle? Why should people buy this bottle? Right? You will find out some example uh, like point. Okay, this bottle can uh, like can can cold the water for like 12 hours, 24 hours. Right? But that should be like almost close to that. You know, you cannot have that any false statement in the. Uh, in the language, right? Otherwise, brand experience will be, will have a problem, right? So, learn about your domain. Very important. So, a designer is a class which, or every designer should be a very good reader. I must tell you that. 
in north india we are not very good right we should read 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 we should know about their culture because we are developing for them right so the culture knowledge is very important so you get the culture knowledge for wikipedia you get the culture knowledge for paper advisor right how the people what type of festival is over there so there are a lot of things and the third thing is get inspiration and ideas from competitors so this i already covered right so and another thing is keep an eye on the latest ui trend design principles your existing user experience guidelines while doing research start thinking about pos possible layouts option to be provide uh, the, the, the 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 desired experience so this is all about the ux competitive analysis very important right? the next is ninth one is example of ux analysis so let's suppose this is one of the uh, very uh, simple example let's suppose we have to create a screen where user can upload a file right so i go into the google normally every year when i go into the google in the images and simply say upload file you want so let me give you an example in the google upload file you want go into the images you will get a lot of example of the google just take a screenshot and put it into your ux research and so you have to create either you can create a google slide either you can create a google doc and put each and every research over there screenshot 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 right so that research is very important especially for the broad colleagues example of ux analysis so these are the ca some case study uh, let me show you like where where we did the ux analysis and these all products are just like you bought is it's an in indian product all other products from the us right so let me uh, let me uh, show something like intel identics so this is the product which is used by the facebook employees Pay uh, paypal employees linkedin employees uber employees right you name the best brand over there they have they are using this particular brand and this is a design by me right and in this particular product you can book an appointment with a dentist anywhere in the us so this product we are developing from last 8 8 9 8 and during the three, uh, in last 3 year during the pandemic period we deliver more than 12 million appointments in the us and this is a big you know, one of the biggest achievement for right? so here let me show you uh, the what type of research i done right in 2017 1769 so this is uh, oh, Let me show you something. So that time actually the product brand name is not defined on, on, uh, on that time, but I can show you the my market research on telemedicine in years. So that I have conducted in 12 May 2017. Big document, <laughs> you can read it over here. So in this market, I am showing what is the value of this particular product, how the this particular thing will grow, right? So you research has lot of potential, but at that time nobody knows that COVID will happen, right? But market value was no good okay this will improve or this will definitely grow so these are the information i simply copy from another website and create a document over there right so this is one of the one of the example of the ux research okay so let me let me share it over there every time i lose it okay so next thing is uh, this is related to the mortgage so mortgage is a very big industry in us right you can uh, 
you can take loans from them uh, as per your uh, properties and all. So this is related to that, like how that particular mortgage industry works in the US. So what type of uh, like mortgage is available, like principal, interest, taxes, insurance. So the whole big report is over here, like what type of reports, like reverse mortgage. So all th and how the market will work, right? right? What is the 28% mortgage? How, what is the growth income over there of each individual in US? Then 36 long term loans, how many people are taking on credit card basis and all, and all right? So each and every points I put in, in this particular, right? This document is very important for your UX analysis or UX competitor analysis. So this is one of the examples, right? So there are also another uh, competitor analysis available. So I simply put it over like, like mortgage shopping list, right? Study guide. Here, uh, here is one of the very good example over here. Uh, I think this one. So you can click it. Just simply link, uh, save the links, right? So this now it's not a link. <laughs> so sometimes links are expired, you know. See, maximum links are not available. But you have that time. Uh, I just simply copy and paste, and I given this particular document to my client. Like this is the market value, right? And this is how we have to understand the whole product or the whole market. So like uh, over here we have the U-Botics mood board. So uh, in in my last screen I'm talking about the mood boards, right? So this is the one of the good example of the mood board. So in the mood board, so this is like before start the UI, right? We have to create the mood board or even before start the brand guide, brand guide. Right? So how the uh, what type of images will be there, what type of the illustration will be there, right? What type, how the dashboard should look like. So we are giving three type of options over here, right? What type of iconography we can give, what type of vector we can give. So those all defined in this particular mood board. So this is also very important before start the UI. And then this is the Research for the, a sound based meditation app. I done in 2018 for the Canadian audience, but the client from the India. So here, what I'm so this is a proper case study about this application. So this is like global mindful uh, mindfulness medi uh, meditation application market. How it will be look like? How it will be grow? Right? And then I have the competitor analysis. I install these all application and found out that okay, whatever the feature I want in, in the application which application providing and which is not providing, right? So here we can differentiate our, our own application, right? So next we have the user research, then we created the journey map. So over this is the a particular user journey map, how the user will land on the application in that particular week. So this is the beginning of the week, then second, third and fourth and so on, right? How the application will uh, try to retention of that particular user, right? So these are the user persona. In this particular application, I created two type of user persona. One for the female and second was for the male. Then empathy map. I've shown you the one of the uh, example, how they say thing and doesn't feel. And this is the value proposition. So how they gain, how they pay, right? But how they, our feature list will make them happy. So this is our value proposition. I will explain in detail as well whenever we come, right? User flow. So come back to the screen. So this is the example of the UX analysis. Then we have write a lovable MVP document. This is very important. Right? If let's suppose, and this should be happen not in not in small apps, not necessary in the small app because wireframe is good able good MVP document. Right? MVP document is okay, what you wanna gonna build that should be written in a document. In the points. Right? And in that document you can also explain that okay how this particular application uh, and what type of uh, UI you would like to add, right? What type of case study you have seen. You can put in that particular document all type of user research or, or the UX analysis or competitive analysis, links and everything, right? So why I'm saying lovable MVP document? MVP, do you know what is MVP? 
you should ask right mvp means minimum viable product minimum viable product. viable product it means that minimum with with how many minimum features we can launch the application okay right and each and every product start from mvp so it just imagine how the facebook look like in 2004 Maybe you guys started the Facebook, uh, I mean, in 2010 or even 11, 12, okay. but I started in 2004, 6, you know, and that time, one of the another community built by the Google that is called uh, one of the very famous community. Uh, I forget the name and that time that was popular. MySpace was popular over there. Okay. Yeah. So I have three accounts in all three, but Facebook is still alive and growing very fast. All other has been died. Right. Why? There is also different type of psychology in that particular thing, right? But the, the Facebook just only built for a university, for a campus. Do you know guys? Yes. Sir. Right? So in that camp, for that, there is only one thing. There is a wall. You can write your what you want uh, and you can follow the user. Yes. Sir. Right? And you can put your status. You are single. <laughs> Already engaged or whatever. So these two, three, two, three feature was in the Facebook when they started, right? From the university. After that, they grow like just hell, you know. So lovable MVP, very important. So what is saying? Design thinking can be described as a discipline that uses the designer sensibility and methods to match people's need with what is technologically feasible and what a viable business strategy can convert into customer value and market opportunity right so ux documentation is you are writing each and every feature right after your user research but before wireframing okay. right so this is regarding the mvp document then we talk about the wireframe this mvp document we have to show to the stakeholders it, yeah definitely okay because this MVP should be approved by the stakeholders or the client, right? Because at least they should know that what we're going to design, what we're going to develop, right? Very important. Then after this document, see, there are two types of client. One, or you can say stakeholders. One stakeholder, they provide their own MVP document, right? You read it as a UX designer and you can suggest something. They are open for the suggestion. A good stakeholder is always open for the suggestion, right? And after that, uh, the proper discussion, right? A series of two, three discussion, you can start your wireframe. But you, can, you cannot start directly the UI design, right? Wireframing first. So next slide is that is dedicated to wireframing. So wireframing is, is, is just, just like, okay, you click, 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 right? And you can see the interface so today we will talk till now like on 12th thing we will carry on this ux process process for tomorrow as well right so let me give you the example of the wireframing well, i i'm i i will always stress you on the wireframing right but before the wireframing there is one more important thing that is called paper prototype that is also very important before digital wireframes you have to do practice on the paper guys why can anybody told that why paper prototyping okay let me give you uh, some uh, light on this particular thing see when you work on the paper your brain your physical thing all sync right when, whenever you do uh, you just on your uh, laptop screen only open the document uh, like mvp document that's it you have to switch off your phone right and you have you are just doing the paper prototyping without any disturbance okay right phone also disturbs sometimes yeah i must i must tell you that i have like you have to keep uh, see you have to so in your proper type pro, uh, paper prototyping pencil is one of the best tool then you have to keep these colorful pens right like different different colorful pens then eraser sharpener that's it this is your these, these are the tools for the paper prototyping and a, of course a paper but for the paper 
you uh, let me show you what type of paper you need so i always keep this type of notebook whenever i have some idea i start paper prototyping right so plain paper book plain no line always keep this type of thing not this this is for the notes writing right okay. but this is for the paper prototyping got it like you have i think yeah this one right this a4 size uh, notebook is very important guys keep always this type of uh, with you guys one uh, scale you need so that you can uh, make a box over there if you are making a web then bigger box and if you are making a mobile application then the smaller one in a shape of a mobile device okay so these are the paper prototyping tools guys very important important before the exure wireframe each and every screen should be on the paper because whenever you will do this thing now you will experience that you are thinking more deeper about that particular application from the ideation perspective right and you are asking lot of question to yourself is it going to okay is it going to okay and the one of the biggest thing is whenever you will do the proper pro paper prototyping there is no undo guys i must tell you yes. right there is only undo with your eraser right so you are more keen into that okay i don't have to do any silly mistake otherwise i have to you have to rub and all so those all are the psychology will happen whenever you will do the paper prototyping my all student do the paper prototyping first before jump into the exure right so this is for today okay so uh, vani this is for the today and we will tomorrow we will carry again the 12th slide okay. and so on there are almost mm, 24 slides right regarding the ux process to nail <laughs> down right but vani if you have any question just let me know so me yeah okay. sir according to the psychological side or the here and second is general reviews right and also reviews it also depend on uh, the demographic in india we only we don't give reviews we only give the reviews when something bad happens you also experience the same yes, thing. Yes, how many time you eaten uh, uh, good food in the restaurant but have you ever given the uh, review on the zomato no we don't care about it but we should care about it. if you are getting the good we should appreciate if you are getting the worst we should explain right in our own matter so that's it i hope you got the answer <laughs> okay any other question ani um no okay so uh, what i will uh, uh, do today guys i will uh, create a whatsapp group okay so where okay. i will add you all okay, okay? and uh, from there i will share uh, like uh, notes class timing let's suppose right if I, so normally like sometime uh, because i'm busy whole day right in, in the life of the excel well. so normally one class should be in 2 to 3 right okay okay uh, but it could be delay like 15 or uh, 20 minutes okay okay no, but not more than that i am much uh, I, <laughs> i will show you right but let's okay. suppose if it will happen i will definitely let you know on the whatsapp so whatsapp okay. is a very good platform we quickly everybody will know that okay when another class will happen right okay. so yeah. keep this particular link just like on the daily classes one right okay. so you have to just save it anywhere in your notes and we okay. will uh, jump every day on this uh, meeting link okay okay okay, okay. so no other question okay uh, yeah. thank you yeah so thank you vani for today we will meet you tomorrow okay Yeah, yeah, thank you sir. Take care guys. Bye. Bye.